Hello guys, everywhere don't scatter as Tinubu's ministers and X shelled 52 billion naira from 120 billion naira forfeited by MFLA's accomplice in money laundering case. According to sources, a portion of the forfeited funds amounting to 54 billion naira was distributed among certain ministers and the aides of President Tinubu in collaboration with EFCC officials. <laughs> so, some of President Bola Tinubu's ministers and aides have been accused of sharing over 54 billion naira from the 120 billion forfeited to the federal government by Aminu Yaro and his wife, Sadatu Yaro. The Yaros, who were associates of the former CBN governor, Kadwin Emefele, reportedly agreed to forfeit the front as part of a plea bargain with the EFCC to drop pending criminal charges against them. According to sources, who put a portion of the forfeited front amounting to 54 billion naira was distributed among certain ministers and aides of President Tinubu in collaboration with EFCC officials. Sources have characterized these developments as scandals. MFLA's compliance, Amino Yaro and his wife, say that to Yaro, forfeited 120 billion naira as a plea bargaining. One of the sources said, now Tinubu's aides and ministers shared over 54 billion naira of the money among themselves, and the EFCC is complice, complete, complicitly aware. When contacted by Sahara reporters, Mr. Dele Oyewale, the EFCC head of Media and Publicity, declined to comment on the allegation, neither confirming nor denying the allegation. Let me find out how we get back to you, he said. At the time of filing this report on Tuesday morning, Oyewole had not responded to Sahara Reporter's inquiry. A June 16, 2023 report by Sahara Reporter disclosed that the EFCC investigations had revealed a 70 billion naira fraud allegedly perpetrated by Godwin Emefeli, the former CBN governor, in collusion with others. Sources indicated that MFLA, Alaji Aminu Yaro, Saike Arosana of Lagos, and his wife, Sadetu, uh, generated the funds through a foreign exchange differential fund, a fraud scheme facilitated by MFLA. According to the sources, MFLA grossly abused the privileges of the office by making quick cash from Forest differential fraud with the help of the Sake, Sarake Aosana of Lagos, Yaro, and his wife. This is a case of forest, of forest differential fraud involving the CBN governor, Godwin Emefele. The governor says forests of for, forest to various individuals are the official rates on paper. He has an understanding with individuals that they will sell at the black market rate when the CBN credits the banks of the individuals that buy the forest. When they sell, the difference will be paid into the account of Amino Yaro on the behalf of MFLA, one of the sources said. So far, about 70 billion naira has been traced to the account in the course of the investigation. According to sources, Sadetwa Ramalan Yaro was a signatory to the company account where the funds were deposited. On May 22, 2023, Sahara reporters reported that the EFCC charged Sadetwa Yaro and her company before Justice Obiora Eguatu of the Federal High Court Abuja with money laundry offenses totaling over 140 billion naira.
Yaro is also a director of April 1616 Investment Limited and uh, Miss um, Amase Limited in 25 count charge. She was accused of failing to report Sami Babi Resources Limited activities, enabling trans transactions, excluding 100 billion naira into the company's accounts with a new generation bank in valuation of her duties as a director of designated non-financial business, arranged alongside Samani ba Babi Resources Limited, one of the counts against the defendant rate, that you, Saditra Iaru, being a director of Sami Babi Resources Limited, a designated non-financial institute between 5th July 2021 and 20th day of April 2022 in Abuja, within the jurisdiction of this Honorable Court, failed to submit to the Ministry of Commerce a declaration of activities of the said company within which period the total sum of 20 billion 967 million 535 thousand 184 naira was deposited into the company's account. So guys, this is really very funny uh, that this is happening in Nigeria. So you are going to expect more of this. You understand? Expect more of this happening. Ha, huh, so sad. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video, let it go 